Everyone, thanks for stopping by. Uh, just knocking up a couple of real quick videos, replies to questions that I've had from viewers. Uh, one was from Vlad, and I can't remember the other fellow that asked me. Vlad's question was a little bit more involved. He wanted to route some wire from inside the back of the car out to the wheel carrier. Uh, the other person, whose name I cannot remember, but I'll put it up on the screen there, he asked me uh, how to remove the rear door card or the uh, interior panel uh, trim, if you like off that back door. So we're gonna cover that off and I'm gonna to talk to Vlad about uh, getting his wire from inside to the outside. A couple of options available to you, mate. You can remove that rear door panel if you want to, but you don't have to to get it out. And I believe that when I did it before, I didn't do that. I've already shot the video on how to remove that back trim. Uh, so Vlad, mate, take an extra 30 seconds, just pull the panel. It's gonna be so much easier for you as far as access. Really straightforward. Let's have a go. So, apologies for the low production <laughs> effort in this one. Uh, it's getting dark, I've been doing other stuff, but I did promise both of the guys that I would try and have a look today and get back to them, so I want to knock this one off and get it done. Now Vlad, um, basically remove the spare wheel cover, which is what I've done here. Um, and if you go in here, uh, unfortunately I've got, this is part of an antenna mount here. This is not standard, so you can see the antenna uh, is on the outside there. Um, and this is part of the mounting bracket for that, but you can see behind that Hopefully there is a rubber grommet You know, I believe what I did was just pop that rubber grommet out which give me enough room To get fingers into the back of that uh, And wiggle around once you've got this back door open and Vlad as per uh, our interaction mate This is that rubber section that I was talking about to get the wire into this rubber section you're gonna need to remove this rear panel here and I will put a link up to the video you know, top right hand corner left hand corner whatever it is where I installed the where I installed the compressor over the back and as part of that video series I showed you how to remove this panel but it's pretty easy you need to take the top panel off first which is basically just pulling it back pull this rubber off pull the panel away pull the rubber off from the front door and that panel will basically just pull out. There's a couple of screws, there's one around about here, I think, and a couple up the end. Your carpet down in the corner here, uh, and along here, and you're gonna find some screws along there as well. You'll need to take the foot panel out of that door, uh, because that bottom panel clips into there. Yeah, and that panel should just pull out, and then you can get access to here. Now what you'll find over the back here, again, as per the other video, is You've got this hole here, so you need to navigate through here. But inside, I think the holes, there's another panel inside here, an internal panel, and the holes are somewhere like up here and down here. So it's not just a straight through shot from that internal panel through to here. I think there might actually be another panel in the middle, but anyway, so it's not a straight shot. Get yourself a good light, shine it in there, and you'll be able to see where you need to go through to get out here. Uh, and you can see I've actually just popped a couple of holes in the bottom of that grommet that's holding on there and they go up to my solar panel and uh, lights on the top. What you need to do then is just feed your feed whatever it is you want down through this section here. Got some ants here, I was wondering where they were coming from. And then separate this from the inside of the door. Just, just pull that off and what you'll find is you've got your cable coming out if you then feed that up and through, uh, get yourself a coat hanger or something like that, go around to that other side, come around to this side here. With that rubber grommet off, you've not got a long distance because it's only sort of coming from over here up to here, and I was able just to reach in and grab it and pull it out. So you need to open the back panel to get into there, but, you shouldn't need to pull this panel off here at all. Now Vlad did also ask me about uh, removing the door panel because he thought he had to do that to get the wire from inside the cab out to that spare wheel carrier, but you don't actually need to do that. So I'm just looking from a flathead screwdriver, but I realise I've left it somewhere. I've removed these covers here, this one here and this one here, and this one over here. I'm going to take that one out as well. These are your access points to the spare wheel carrier, so the bolts that hold on that spare wheel cover which allows you access to spare wheel. This one accesses the water bottle. So take that off, pull that out, 
fill it up with water. That's for your Tomcats or your water washers on the back. Take this off. This bottom panel does appear to overlap the top one. If you're going to want to take this top one off, I can tell you for sure that I can see this handle and it's got these little caps on it. So I don't have my little flat head screwdriver. I've left it out the back. Okay, so you can just pop those off and there's a couple of Phillips head screws under those so I can you're certain, you learn to look for certain things. I'm not seeing any screws in this panel at all. So I am going to assume that it's just a pop off. Um, so I'm just going to find a corner. I'm just going down to the corner, getting the screwdriver under it. one aside in a safe position I'm just going to go around and just pull there is something going on there all right if you're doing something like this just go around and feel just grab it and just pull and pull and pull when there's pressure somewhere else that's holding on don't force it stop and have a look so basically I felt some pressure here like I've popped these studs here and here, but I can feel it doesn't want to come away. So if you have a look just under here, it's a couple of Phillips head screws. Whether it's these holding on or not, I don't know. Um, I think it very well may be. I'm just gonna undo those. I am gonna get around to actually making a table for the back of this. I have been using the Facebook Pajero page uh, drivers, owners of Australia, or whatever it may be, because uh, there have been plenty of inspiration coming from there. So, thanks, boys and girls. All right, so two Phillips head screws. I'll go back to just, yeah, okay, that was definitely what was holding that on. Go around the corners. Okay, now in the top here, um, there, I have noticed, I can see on that side, there are little clips that are pushing into this top panel. I'm going to work my way to the middle. Okay, and there we go. Okay, now one other little tip for you. If you get any of these that get stuck, like this one just here, get yourself a pair of scissors and just stick it under them and then lever it up or out. These are shit scissors. I turn leaf, you've got shit scissors like that. A pair of wire cutters will do. And what that allows you to do is just... Now don't squeeze, obviously you're gonna cut that whether you're using scissors or not. And, but it allows you to get two points of contact, you know, or go either side, and then just leave that up. Because if you just try and get that with a screwdriver or something like that, plenty of experience, because these get brittle, they just snap and break. But if you just get under both sides of it, and then lever it up, you're generally fine. They'll come out intact and they're okay. This is what the back of the panel looks like once it's removed. So the blue ones are the clips that basically go into the top panel there or just under the top panel and clip in. And then you've got these all the way around. And this is where the two Phillips heads come through. Uh, the top panel, so those are where the blue ones seat. The blue ones work more as locators. Uh, than, than holding points, so they pretty much just press in holes and hold the thing in place. So those are the holes that they go into, and then this is where those little clips are clipping into that top panel. So once you get down to sort of this point here, this is where the white ones are, and they're the press fit, so they're the, the holding ones, they're the ones you're going to need to pull out. And then you can see somewhere in the middle here, one there, and one there is actually where the Phillips head screws go in. Um, now, now that you've done that, you can go up and obviously peel this rubber back and you are gonna get access, mate, up into the door. Um, so if you feed your wire through this grommet, down through into there, uh, you're gonna be able to get a hand up there and that grommet 
on the outside that we had a look at is going to be just on the outside of that. Okay, so for anybody that wants to remove that panel uh, on the back, whether you want to go and make yourself a table or something along those lines, uh, that's where that's that's basically how you do that. So it's just press studs. Uh, if you want to continue on and take this top panel, I can see there's a couple of screws there. Looks like it's going to come off in sections. Looks like this is a section here, this lower section. There is a screw here, uh, and there is a screw here, and then that's just going to be, uh, you'll have to undo the two Phillips heads that are holding on this handle, um, and then that's going to just pop off, and the top sections um, are all separate as well. Now, if you need to change your interior lights at the back, I think we have done this in the past video, um, just go and pull that off. That section actually comes out, and then you can change those globes up there. So that's it, that's how you remove that rear door panel uh, if you need to. And Vlad, hopefully that uh, gives you some insight, mate, how to get that panel off and then how to get your wire from the inside uh, to the outside. There you go. Holes, just to give you a look at those bolt holes for that rear wheel uh, cover and carrier. That's what they look like once you take that rear door panel off. And button this back up, uh, which is just gonna be the reverse, obviously. Oh, I'm just gonna put this on. Line those locators up. There you go. Beautiful. Hopefully these filter heads are going to line up nice and easy. They are. They really don't particularly like this area of the Pajero. I know that um, original they come with tools and things or something that sit in here, but it's always a bit of a waste of space. I have seen people. Um, oh, it's not going to tighten up that. Um, I have seen people make drop down tables for the back of their Pajero and they've used this as a spice rack. That was a quite nice little thing. This thing here really is just a waste of space. Anyway, uh, normally I would just carry my uh, jumper leads and stuff like that. I just have a continuous loop ratchet that sits in there as well, just to have something up there. Stick that back on. With possibly the worst locks in history. So that's it, Vlad, uh, and I apologise, I can't remember the other fellow that shot me the message and asked me how to do it. That's how you remove that uh, rear door card, rear door interior, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty straightforward. Other than those couple of screws that are in the middle, just go around and just pop her off. Back on just as easy. It's probably a couple of minute job at most. Vlad, good luck with your wiring, mate, um, and let me know what you're doing. I'm interested to know what you're running over the back there uh, out of interest. So uh, shoot me a message, mate, let me know. So if you've got any questions, uh, anything you want me to try and do that I might be able to help you with, again, I'll, as I always say, keep in mind I'm just a bloke that's got a Pajero. I'm not fantastically mechanically minded, but I like to have a go. If I can help you out, I'm more than happy to do so. So shoot through your messages. But I, I, I do get crazy stuff, uh, uh, in particular to the liquid molly uh, video that I did again it was just a product I went out and got and um, and used and thought I'd show you my experience because I had seen lots of posts up on forums about it. I regularly get messages from people telling me that they've got some 1974 model Fiat something or rather. Are they okay to use the product on that car? Um, is it going to work? Are they going to get results? Look, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. All I can tell you is look, I used it on my car and I thought it did alright. Um, I don't know whether it's going to work on your car. I don't know whether you should use it on your car. For those sorts of answers, you really need to go to the manufacturer or the supplier and ask them because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and it, look, if I don't know, I'm going to tell you. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm happy to help you out where I can and um, whatever. 
And but with that in mind, if you've got information about any of these videos you watch or you've got some input, I'd really appreciate it. Stick it down in the comments because you know I'm trying to learn here as well. And there's gonna be other people with the same questions, so that'd really be great. Anyway, thanks very much for stopping by. We'll catch you on the next one.